वेलकम बैक गाइज टू अनदर वीडियो एंड टूडे आई विल बी टेकिंग अ लास्ट लुक एट द रोज एप्पल पाई नाउ इट डजेंट मीन दैट द रोज एप्पल पाई हैज स्टॉप्ड वर्किंग और आई हैव थ्रोन इट थ्रोन इट ऑफ माई टेरिस बट इट्स जस्ट दैट इट्स इट्स टाइम वी कीप इट असाइड एंड लेट इट डू इट्स थिंग नाउ इट्स मीन ऑलमोस्ट नाइन मंथ सिंस आई हैव द रोज एप्पल पाई एंड इट हैज़ गिवन मी अ ग्रेट इनसाइट into what is there outside the world of raspberry pi uh many companies are trying to clone the raspberry pi trying to make a copy but whatever they do there will always be a different it won't be the exact same raspberry pi now with rose apple pi came many great things such as you had a dedicated uh, intelligent power management system so you can actually uh, read from the power ic and get the values which i found very interesting so you can calculate the watts drawn from the wall or uh, and stuff like that uh, also it was clocked at a high uh, speed uh, had a cortex a9 uh, it was clocked at around 1.3 gigahertz but was later uh, down clocked to 1.1 gigahertz and more on that later also it came with 2 gigabytes of ddr3 ram now in my experience i never really uh, needed that much amount of memory while working with uh, a slower and a cpu such as arm which has a lot less instruction set than the x86 now saying that uh, i didn't really put it through much workload now stuff like android does put uh, stress on the ram because all the apps are uh, cached into the ram but most of my work was on linux linux itself so uh there were some upsides and also the inclusion of a usb 3 port a separate usb controller for usb 2 and a separate usb controller for network which actually gave a better bandwidth management system uh, across uh, the whole platform now in the case of raspberry pi you have just one uh usb connection coming in from the soc that is broken up into four usb ports and an ethernet port so uh there those were the positive parts and now uh there were some downsides to uh the soc was not really uh well tested or you know well thought into because that thing overheated like hell man it had a max tdp of 120 degrees celsius that's a lot and under normal load under a 100% load or even a little bit less it would easily touch over 80 degrees now most cpus and even most gpus shut down at that temperature that meant that i had to have a fan over the heat sink at all time of course uh, even then the uh, max temperature i'm hitting is always above 50 degree and whereas my uh, room temperature is around 20 now let's come back to the 1.1 gigahertz issue once again now the reason it was clocked down to 1.1 gigahertz was of course and very obvious that it was overheating heating as hell now what it resulted for me was that i ended up blowing its gpu yeah so uh, it's not entirely blown i do still have a display output but at times i do have odd uh, green lines all across the screen and especially when you are running something like android which is com- whose interface is like completely based on your gpu rendering everything uh, that actually uh, takes a lot of fun out of the android experience there's always green line all across the screen and it's really disturbing so yeah so that meant that i couldn't use the rose apple pie as a media center or an android tv uh, kind of setup the software part also lagged a lot now a um, thing that i really wanted to say was when raspberry pi just came into the market it didn't have a great software either but now the companies really need to realize that the raspberry pi is already there in the market now if you want to grab their market space you need to have everything ready at launch or at least be at par with the raspberry pi so the question is what happens to the rose apple pi now 
Now it's just sitting on my table doing nothing. Better put it to some good use. And that is where Boink comes in. Now Boink is a distributive computing platform which means research institutes and laboratories around the world can send in their data to be processed by individual com computers across the world and all you need to do is install Boink and install a client. Now in my case the client is Einstein at home and the setup is very easy. The instructions are all online. Now all that the rose apple pie here has to do is sit down uh, and compute some data and give it back. And this is what the rose apple pie is going to do from now on. Anyway guys thanks for watching this video and I will see you next time.